Okay, very casually, a $23,000 dress. Oh my God, today we're trying on wedding dresses. I should have worn sound. I will scream. I'm sorry, we're trying on wedding dresses. All right, welcome ladies. How are you guys doing today? Yes. 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 Welcome to Kinsley James Bridal. We're so happy to have you. We have a great variety of dresses and the dresses really speak for themselves too. Like it's a moment when you walk in, you like immediately are pulled in. So none of you have tried on gowns before? No. no. Right? I, I might have drunk once <laughs> I know my sisters who didn't get married, but she's like five feet and I'm not. So so you just had like a T-length hem yes. going? Okay. It, it, I don't think it got up my ass. Okay. Should I do this? This one or that one? That one's different, more different. What, are we, what do you think? My name's Alexandria. I'm an associate producer here at the Chai Guys and a food baby. So currently I am engaged. Very excited. We got engaged May of 2021. We've been together for about 10 and a half years. So right before our 10th anniversary, he proposed. Well, I'm actually getting married, so this is my I was first like, time. So we're, we're, we're on, we have, we have a mission for you. We need to actually find you your gown. That would be great. So what do you see yourself wearing on your big day? Oh, I don't know. I like a bunch of different things, but okay. I, I like something that's like, Shows my figure, like I want to look very flattering. So I've always loved kind of a mermaid look, like nothing too fishtaily, but like something form-fitting. I want my waist to look nice, I want my butt to look nice. Maybe like a little off the shoulder thing. This masterpiece right here is called Cavin. I love this. Yes, and rather than having that traditional mermaid seam like going across the front, she has some go days on the side, so you're gonna have a very statuesque figure. And the Ooh. off shoulder sleeves, you're gonna love this gown. I've been like saving wedding dresses on my Pinterest board and my Instagram and everything for so long. I'm excited to actually just put one on. Like, I don't even care what the first one looks like. I just want to put something on and like feel like a bride. Why don't we go with some ruffles? Someone had to do that. This is rough. <laughs> Someone had to. I'm down. It's definitely I'm different. Down. My name is Desiree Hurlbutt. Been in a relationship for like two and a half years now. I feel like she's the one, but I don't think there was a moment where I was like, she's the one. I just feel like she just gets me. Nina's gonna kill me for like not having a moment. But honestly, it was probably the first, this sounds crazy, but the first time we hooked up because that's when I knew that she actually liked me. And I've been like after her for two years. We don't want to be married anytime soon. I think I want like both of us to be a place in our life where like we can both like afford a wet, like pay for all of that stuff. Like eventually, yeah, we'll get married. I don't want to do that anytime soon. Look at, see that slit? It's like a ball gown, but like, with my leg. Exactly, and it's a double leg slit. So when I was a kid, a bride was like in a big puffy ball gown. Now that I'm older, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to be in a, a big, big poofy ball gown. Now I see those like little elegant dresses and stuff like that. But like, if I did do a ball gown, I would switch into a smaller dress later. <laughs> I like the idea of not white, like something that's in like a blush color or like anything that would not be even remotely traditional in a wedding dress. Okay. How about this really beautiful ruffled ombre situation? That is one of the most beautiful dresses I've ever seen. Isn't it <laughs> stunning? My name's Catherine Laveau. You can call me Kat. What's your current relationship status? I'm single. Yeah. And how long has that been true? <laughs> a long time. I've done a lot of casual dating in the past, but serious relationships where I would get close enough to try on a wedding dress has been pretty minimal. Kat, tell us a little bit about what are you expecting? What are you in the market for? Oh, I am not in the market. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. I just, you know, all these dresses are so beautiful and okay. I love, you know, looking cute and dressing up. So the idea of just like putting on a gown sounds okay. very fun to me. And it's all me. I don't have to think about it. Exactly. Anything. You're just like, I don't have to think about it anyone else's opinions, no. especially the mother-in-law. Come on over here, there's a dress called Dove. Okay. It's by Jane Hill. So it's got this oh, beautiful this. one shoulder. I call this my Jessica Rabbit gown. I love it, I love that you can accessorize with that too. Exactly. The drama can come from, from like- the veil. Yes. Honestly, I want like a dramatic sleeve jumpsuit more than a wedding dress. Like a red fabulous jumpsuit is that it was with combat boots. That's what I see myself getting married in. <laughs> Just be the most dramatic, rebellious person in my family. Like I couldn't imagine my family coming and seeing me in like a beautiful, full ball gown. No, they would definitely be like, where's the headpiece? Where's the drama? Where's the sleeves? Oh, bitch, what? 
Yeah. Stop it. Oh yeah. I could live in here. I know. Oh my God, can you even see me? Hi, my name is Kelsey. I am a creator. I'm Zach's co-host on the Guilty Pleasures podcast. I'm excited to try on wedding dresses because I think this might be the only time I will ever get to do it. I have been in a open relationship for four years with my life partner, Jared Lucas, AKA Capslap, AKA the DJ as the podcasters know him as. He's like the best partner of all time. Is there a moment when you knew he was like the one for you? The first time we that dick. <laughs> I'm like joking, but I'm also not. Like the first time we like I was like, oh, this is different. <sighs> I'm gonna be the cynical tough one because okay, I, my favorite. Don't believe in the institution of marriage. You don't believe in getting <laughs> the government involved. Exactly. Like okay. don't touch my coin, don't touch my relationship. Fair enough. Fair Absolutely. Enough. From birth, you are constantly told, and especially with religion and family tradition, that marriage is the end goal. That's like what you need to do. If you don't do that, you're not successful. What? is the ideal version of love and why do we think it's only supposed to exist between two people? Why are soulmates only two people? Why is the failure of a marriage such a big f***ing deal? Like, I just don't subscribe to any of it. Sparkles, clean, pick one. Oh God, sparkles. High leg slit or fully closed? Excuse me? What does that mean? Do you want do you want your leg out or Ooh. do you want it to be like Ooh, sleek shit. and sexy? I don't know. Is that an answer? You. I got great legs. Kim Kassari. <laughs> Gorge. I think I would want sleeves, crystals, lace, crystals, long mother train, the longest train. You don't want to look like every other girl in a wedding dress. You want it to be like, it's the wedding dress that finds you. What's your most expensive one? Um, Over here. <laughs> Take me to that one. So after we each have our fittings today okay. and we all decide on our one perfect dress, um, we've each invited a special person to come reveal the dress to. Best friend, uh, a family Stop. member. Yeah. So cute. So, if my girlfriend doesn't cry, I'm kicking her out. Okay. <laughs> I think I want to step outside my comfort zone and try this on. Yeah. I think it's something I would never ever pick. Finn should go right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm thinking probably Devin then. I love Devin. This is by Lee Petra. What are you thinking for our last dress? Let's do big, like ball gowny type thing. Because if we think classic bride, I think Ann Barch. I just feel like I would never wear something like that. So part of me wants to put Why it on. Why don't my we body try it then? Like because who knows? Dress. You might end up loving it. It might be your dress. Yeah. I think that we should give it a go. This right here is Diana. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got it. This one? I think you have to do this one. Yeah. You ready to try on dresses? I'm so ready. Let's okay. Get All right, we're see. going. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> Look at this shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ow. That looks so good. I you look like a in your own bag. I was going to say that. Yes. I'm saying if I get a, if I do a Vegas wedding, this yeah. is my dress. Oh, Vegas for sure. Oh, the sleeve. The sleeve. Oh, oh, the oh my God. Oh, What's out for the boys and girls? How expensive are the dresses that I pulled? Diana is $85.58. Jewel by Kim Kassas is around 11,000 and some change. Oh and then Daphne, which is that one with the Swarovski crystal, mm -hmm. she retails for 79.20. Haven, 82.50. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> you can put down a 50% deposit though and then pay the rest <laughs> later. Yeah, you totally can. Let's do it, okay, off we go, come no, on. No, 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 no. Oh no. That's so much money. $11,000. Wait, 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 I love it. You got this. <laughs> Okay. Oh. So we're gonna just turn you this way and then step My right up. Goddess. Stop. Oh Good. my god. You are like a f***ing piece in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> the veil is part, it has like layers to the veil, like okay. structure. She said it was her favorite veil. It is a good veil. It's a good veil. Do you love I it? I force like, it onto everyone. Did you feel good in it? What was it like? I can't sit down on this, but like maybe I don't need to sit. No, you're not it's sitting. It's fine. You are standing center retention. Yeah. yeah. It's just very real and very exciting. And like, it took so long to get here. And I'm just happy to be trying things on now.
How long have you and your fiance been together? 10 years. 10 what? years. Yeah. Wow. Long time since we're babies. That's when we met, I was so young and I, like neither of us were looking for a relationship. And then we ended up doing long distance while he was at college. And I ended up moving out there too, to Hawaii and ended up going to the same college. So Will and I have been together for a long time. So I've had a lot of time to think about what my dream wedding is. I think growing up, like I always wanted a big wedding. I think that's like how you marked the beginning of your marriage. Like I think now it's totally different. We could go run off and get married by ourselves and it would feel just as special. So I do think like it's important to celebrate, but I think that's in your own way. And I don't think a big flashy wedding is necessary for everyone or anyone. Why don't you open your eyes? Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. so good. This is like exactly what I wanted. <laughs> It's so pretty. I love the veil too. Right? Your butt looks great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you look right amazing. Though. I think this is exactly what I wanted, where it's like, it's still kind of a classic look, but it's fun and romantic. And if we do a Hawaii wedding, I feel like this fits oh, perfectly. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, I think I, I would wear this at my actual wedding. Oh. I think I'd maybe need like an after party dress because I can't dance or eat in this, but <laughs> it's it's worth it. Oh my God, I uh, love, you're right about the veil. I love this yeah. veil. So is it possible that the first gown you ever put on could actually be your wedding dress? I hope so. I mean, I don't know if I could afford this one, but I think this this could be my dress. Yeah. How much was this one again? 82.50. Yeah, maybe I don't buy this shit. <laughs> I like this, but it's, yeah, it's everything that I wanted. I feel like I'm getting married again. I'm so, <gasps> oh, wow. So we turn this way yeah. and then go to step on back <laughs> and step on up. <laughs> Crown? Oh yeah. Oh she my really god. She really said bow down. They're like accessories. I said crown, please. Crown, <laughs> please. That's There's real good. Eight hundred things happening. Yeah. And I am obsessed with every single yeah, one. No, all together. You're just gonna come with me anytime I go shopping. <laughs> I mean, I feel amazing. I feel like it's torture because I can't see myself. So it's kind of rude. <laughs> just like the like. <gasps> <laughs> what? Like, it's the, 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 like it's like a ball gown, and then I can be like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just nervous now. Everybody's hyping me up. I'm like, what if I hate it? Doesn't stop that you're still hot. hot. You look good. Okay. It might not be okay, you, good. but you look good. Okay. And you're not okay. getting married. No. So no. that's okay. No pressure. There. <laughs> no pressure. Are you ready to see yourself? I am so ready to see myself. Let's do it. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. We would want to get married because we'd be able to have some sort of official document or something like that to be like, we are legally married and we have these certain rights that we wouldn't get if we weren't married. It's the fact that we just barely, I feel like, got the rights to like get married is just like a, I'm gonna do that because people have worked so hard. The LGBT community has pushed so hard to get these rights. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like a you if I don't do it. <laughs> All right, why don't you go ahead and open your eyes? Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. The crown. I don't, I'm like speechless. I don't have words to say about how I feel right now. I literally feel like I'm supposed to be walking down the aisle of like the royal wedding. Yeah. Like this is what, that's what like this crown is giving me. I don't think I've ever worn a crown. I love the ball gown, but I still think I'd want something to change into. That's like a sexy, sleek version. Uh, this is more ceremony. So ceremony. Yeah. And then yeah. now we're looking for reception. Yes. Because yeah. like realistically, I love to dance. And I like that it has this. So if I drop it low. Ooh, yeah. she did. <laughs> but like, I also would just ruin the whole thing. Perfect. <sighs> this way. And we're going to back you up onto the apple box right here. <laughs> You look like a princess. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I think the gorgeous. color is so perfect for you. Mm -hmm. Like, it makes you look like you're glowing. I love that it's not white. It feels like you look like a bride, but you also look like like a fairy princess. Yeah, <laughs> this dress is so fun. I definitely wanted something not white to try on first because that's definitely my vibe. So I'm I'm glad I tried this on first. I grew up in a very traditional family. So if I was gonna get married, it was going to be outdoors and I wasn't gonna wear white and I was gonna be like the little rebel kid. What works between two people is what works. It doesn't have to be big white dress. It doesn't have to be courthouse. It can be whatever works for you. All right, Kat, when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> How well, do you feel? I feel like a princess. This is, oh, with the hair and the veil. I feel very much like I belong in Game of Thrones or like, yeah, The Great. I'm obsessed with The Great right now. I have this like 
starburst like thing on top of my head that is very celestial and very much my vibe. You have matching earrings for it too. I know. This is very much like Stardust meets Ever After, which is absolutely my jam. Oh. If you wanted to bring the oh. blusher up and over, it just rests in your hair like that. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the vibe. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think you need to get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not, this is just for me. I don't need to be married. This is just for me to put on in my apartment with my cats and hang out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and then we're gonna turn you this way and then in a couple steps, you're gonna lift up onto the podium step Ooh, up. I see. There you go. A moment. We're having a moment. You're like a Barbie. Oh, so yeah. your body looks crazy so right now. You look so, so good. And I was like, snatch reset. My back hurts. <laughs> It's really heavy. There's like a light corset and oh. like I couldn't sit down really like without wrinkling and getting foof everywhere. So I've been standing. I realize this is like a job. You're yeah. in this thing for like, you're in it. But I'm not gonna lie, I feel important. <laughs> I feel like the president or something. I feel, I feel fancy and the process was actually easy. I just, I don't know how you last multiple hours in something like this. Well, yeah, you have to sit and eat for dinner. I think love and connection and new relationship energy is too big to just keep between two people. And if we took that stigma away of like, you're only supposed to be with one person at one time for the rest of your life. Like, first of all, how limiting is that? That everybody's supposed to do that? With the life that I live and the way that I feel, not only does it not seem necessary, but it doesn't even seem like a benchmark of success or happiness to me. Like, I don't see it. Okay, Kelsey, are you ready? Yes! All right, why don't you go ahead and open your eyes? <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Do I look like Princess Diana? <laughs> Am I crazy? I look like I'm a homeowner. I feel like I've got a business where everything is together. It and looks I like you're paying for the wedding solely. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for this wedding. I cannot believe how well it works with the short hair. This is art. Like a work of mother art. I was not expecting to look this good. <laughs> you look amazing. It's the thing I picked because I was like, this is the most me. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, it's not really me. It's, it's somebody. I'm a little more crazy. And this is for someone who like does their taxes on time. It doesn't feel right. Right. Okay. Like, like I'm a princess. I'm Princess Diana 100. But I, that's why it's not me because anyone on the internet knows. Okay. I'm not a princess. Well, you look stunning in it, but I you don't it. feel like, do you just not feel like yourself I in something like, like this? I could, I could stay in this for a while. <laughs> right? like I look like I killed my first husband and I'm using his money to pay for this wedding now. Yeah, for sure. I'm addicted to wedding dresses. I'm like swimming in this. I'm like, two more. You have to remember, I don't plan on getting married. So this is like it. I think this is so hot, but I would not get married in it. This is this is not my, my wedding day no. dress. No. This is, let me stunt on somebody. Ooh, yeah. It's pretty, I like it a lot. I feel like it's not my dress, but like, it's cool. Okay, very casually, a $23,000 dress. This feels more like me than the first one. I would totally get married in this. <laughs> Did you just say get married? Yeah, I would totally get married. <laughs> get married. <laughs> Gabby, shut your mouth. Okay, fine. All right, we're moving. Let's go. <laughs> I was gonna have a dream wedding. It probably wouldn't be a wedding. I'd probably do a courthouse thing. <laughs> go find like one of my favorite restaurants and just invite my really close friends and get dressed up and have like a nice dinner party, essentially. I want a huge party. Like I just want it to be a party. I just pictured all of my friends having a great time. Like, cause it's hard to get your friends from like college and then like when you move and like from your hometown all together at once it's got to be a mix of everybody because I know they'll all love each other because I love all of them. What I initially wanted to do is get married in Hawaii on the island that we lived on and I would still love to do that but now that it's COVID times I'm open to other things too because I've always wanted a big wedding with all my friends there and all my family and hopefully we still get to do that but I'm also open to like running away and getting married somewhere. So we'll see. I said if I'm gonna get married, which I'm not, but these dresses are swaying me. Uh, my 
My name is Jade. I am best friends with Alex. I do remember when I heard about Alex and Will getting engaged because Will told our friend group maybe like a week or so before he was going to do it. He was very nervous and it was so cute. <laughs> if I was going to pick a wedding dress off of the rack for Alex, I think I would go with something that's a little more form-fitting, maybe like a a mermaid or a trumpet or something like that. I feel like Alex would want to be able to eat in her wedding dress, but she would choose one that she can't eat in. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh! Whoa! 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is it what you were expecting? <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's perfect. Beautiful, like, sea creature, like a beautiful jellyfish. That's what you Thank look you. like. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I wasn't expecting um, the silver. This is not what I thought I would like. Oh end up you with you fingerless in. gloves? Yes. <gasps> wow, okay, this was not what I thought it was going to be, but it's so, it's so much better than anything I would have. Surprisingly, I could sit down better in this than the other dresses. How much was this one again? Seven. Yeah, it's just a cool seven thousand. We can make that work. Yeah. Oh, oh. Woo! She twirls. <laughs> that would be very fun on the dance floor. My name is Nina Palukin, and I am Desiree Hurlbut's girlfriend. What do you think Desiree would wear? Something sparkly, over the top, probably ball gown. I'm assuming. Yeah, something very out there. Do you have any expectations that you hope she meets? No, whatever she's happy in, feels comfortable in. And like, you know, when like your partner's wearing something that they feel great in, they just glow. So it doesn't really matter what I care. How you feeling, babe? Very nervous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see though. Yeah, you look great. I bet you do. Wow. Look, I got a whole front part. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Let me see the back. You look amazing. And it has like this whole, like a cape this in the so front. This is so you. And a cape in the back. You look so good. Thank you. I'm you have little nervous. tears, I see. I know, it's fine. <laughs> How do you feel in it? I feel great. I like it because it's not like white. And yeah. I feel like white washes me out. Yeah. It was this, between this and like a, a ball gown. That's what I was expecting. That's what I, that's what I thought. Yeah. Would, I, I think if I was in that one, you probably would have like actually cried. And this one you weren't <laughs> expecting, but you're like, oh, you still look beautiful. Of course, you have a little tiara. Yeah, tiara, of course. So, how much do you think this dress is? Just throw a number out. There. All right, 20,000. Hmm. Well, close? Yeah, you're pretty close. What is it, like 23,000? 23,000. It's the most nice. expensive dress here. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me knowing you. No, I know. They're like most expensive one. I'm like, I'll try it on. <laughs> so good. Thank you. My name is Vera, and I belong to Kat. I'm her older sister. I think Kat's like too cool to get married. Like, <laughs> she would not be wearing like a wedding dress for sure. I could see her going two directions. I could see her going full Victorian morning gown, like black lace shawls. Like, or I could see her going red sheer marabou chiffon dressing gown with like lingerie underneath. <laughs> I'm always excited to see Kat get like the high gorgeousness glamour drama moment she deserves. Oh my gosh, I feel like a five-year-old. I want to peek through my fingers. <laughs> I have a veil. Oh my gosh, you do? Yeah. I didn't think we would ever be in a bridal shop flip where you're looking at me in a wedding dress. No, yeah, for sure. Like if you were getting married, it would not, we would not be going to a bridal shop. We'd be going to like a vintage a witch, like, shop. witch shop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look. Oh my gosh! Oh, um, bitch, this is so good. I know. This is, this is great. I still have my combat boots on. Yeah, 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 totally. In fact, like, I think if we did it, we would like cinch it up. Yeah, just make like... sure that everyone can see the combat boots. Oh, it's very glamorama. I love it. It's definitely like you within this context. Queen of the Star universe. goddess, queen of the universe. Yeah. Came from yes. another planet to benevolently rule you, but still, yeah, I am yeah, the yeah. ruler. Yeah. We love a good benevolent dictator moment. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. In this dress, specifically. How many dresses? did you try on? Too many dresses. You I was very very on but this was the first one. Oh, this was cute. the first one and I like felt like I knew immediately this was the only one. You don't need to get married. You just want to No, I just want to yeah. wear this dress. <laughs> I don't need I don't need a marriage. I just need this dress. Yeah.
Yeah. My name is Jared Lucas. I am Kelsey Dara's partner, and I don't really know what I'm doing here, but my best guess is like a boyfriend sees girlfriend in wedding dress kind of situation or something. Kelsey is very much non-traditional. Uh, she doesn't really like the patriarchy so much. I didn't really think I'd be able to see Kelsey in a wedding dress. Uh, I think that would, I thought it would kind of erupt into flames on her body. If I was to pick out a wedding dress that I think Kelsey would pick out or that she would like, it would have a lot of sparkles, very like disco-y. It'd be extremely like not the normal dress. She is a shining beacon to, to me. You poor thing. This is like, this might be the only time you get this. <laughs> it's first look. Are you nervy? I'm a little nervy. What are you nervy about? I don't know. That I'm gonna be so pretty? <laughs> I don't know. It's just uh, kind of getting my my head into a mindset of you know like seeing you like this and. Oh, you know, honey, I love you. I love you. Okay, look it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. What do you think? Oh my goodness! I love the shoes. That's great. <laughs> Wow, that is actually pretty spot on to right? like, what, like <laughs> maintaining like traditional-ish vibes of a wedding dress. This is very much your kind but of But you can dress. see my butt, yeah, exactly. you know, like at any I moment. It. Very, but very you fun. can close it up sexy, to be yeah. like, does it look like me? <laughs> yeah, it's is very it, much you. I do I look the, pretty? You look gorgeous, babe. That's right. I love the sparkles, I love well. the, the diamonds. Oh my goodness. Yeah? Uh, I mean, did your heart feel yeah. good? Oh, It's wonderful. I love you. Are I you getting teary-eyed? No. Okay, good. Of course not. <laughs> Does this make you want to marry me? I mean, nothing can, like, change, like, that feeling that I have towards you. Like, it's not like this makes it more like, oh, now that you wore this, I want to marry you. Like, I want to be with you forever, that's for sure. That's You're right. My partner. So. Same. Yeah. Da, 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 da. But then it's just my legs. <laughs> You're gonna be a mess on your wedding day. <laughs>